Well, let me tell you about something that I've been right. uh, trying to get and talk about in the show for a while, but mm -hmm. it might be of interest. Probiotics. You know what? You know much about them? No, not a thing. All right. So, folks who have irritable bowel who are tuning in today, uh -huh. uh, people who have uh, chronic fatigue syndromes, people who have a lot of these inflammatory conditions like vaginosis and the like. One of the things that we think might be happening in you, if your immune system is generally depleted, is that the bacteria in your intestinal system aren't growing normally. And when okay. we're born and we go through the, the vag vagina of our mothers uh -huh. uh, or that we breastfeed, we actually pick up bacteria from there and that colonizes our intestines. Mm. And those good bacteria grow in there. And eventually there are about 10 times more uh, bacteria living in our gut than cells in our body. Oosh. And that allows us to absorb all these great nutrients that we need. Isn't the body something? Aren't you still fascinated I, daily? The reason I went into medicine, Oprah, is because I knew I'd never learn it all. Really? And that's the number one reason I went into it. Real quickly, the issue with the bacteria in your gut is if you're taking antibiotics, yeah. uh, if the bacteria aren't growing correctly in your intestinal system, then you get the wrong bacteria, which overwhelm the good bacteria. And that's what it looks like. This image shows that those little uh, coral reef looking structures are the lining of your intestine. Those big railroad cars, those, those spheres, Mm -hmm. uh, those tubes, those are actually the bacteria, the good bacteria, the lactobacilli. So historically, we would eat yogurt and kefir and all these fermented right, foods. Right, right. Those are a great source of probiotics. So, and if you don't want to take it in that form, there are little pills you can take that have probiotics in them. And then you want to take prebiotics. These are foods that actually nourish your intestinal system. They're most, mostly made of fibers. When, when you say take yogurt, you meant you, real yogurt, not the low-fat, whatever. Exactly kind. right. Yeah. Yogurt with live culture in it. Yes, but live culture. Uh, and, 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 and so if you eat those kinds of foods, you'll naturally re replenish the bacteria in your intestinal system. But you also want to give you, yourself, the intestines in your body, the right kind of food to nourish those bacteria. So onions and uh, garlic, 100% whole grain bread.